Safiya Sultan was the favorite consort of Ottoman Sultan Murad III and Valida Sultan to her son Mehmed III. Background The identity of Safiya has often been confused with that of her Venetian mother-in-law, Nurbanu, leading some to believe that Safiya was also of Venetian descent, descended from Venetian governor of Corfu, captured by Muslim pirates and presented to the Sultan's harem in 1562. However, Safiya was Albanian, from the village of Rezi in the Dukagini Mountains. In 1563, at the age of 13, she was presented as a slave to the future Murad III by Myrima Sultan, daughter of Suleiman the Magnificent and Haram Sultan. Given the name Safiya, she became a concubine of Murad. In 1566, she gave birth to Murad's son, the future Mehmed III, time as consort. Safiya had been Murad's only concubine prior to his accession, and he continued having a monogamous relationship with her for several years into his sultanate. His mother Nurbanu advised him to take other concubines for the good of the dynasty, which by 1581 had only one surviving heir, Murad and Safiya's son Mehmed. In 1583, Nurbanu accused Safiya of using witches and sorcerers to render Murad impotent and prevent him from taking new concubines. This resulted in the imprisonment and torture of Safiya's servants. Murad's sister Esmahan presented him with two beautiful concubines, which he accepted. Cured of his impotence, he went on to father 20 sons and 27 daughters. Venetian reports state that after an initial bitterness, Safiya kept her dignity and showed no jealousy of Murad's concubines. She even procured more for him, earning the gratitude of the Sultan, who continued to value her and consult her on political matters, especially after the death of Nurbanu. During Murad's latter years, Safiya returned to being his only companion. However, it is unlikely that Safiya ever became Murad's wife, though the Ottoman historian Mustafa Ali refers to her as such. He is contradicted by reports from the Venetian and English ambassadors. Valida Sultan When Murad died in 1595, Safiya arranged for her son Mehmed to succeed as Sultan, and she became the Valida Sultan, one of the most powerful in Ottoman history. Until her son's death in 1603, Ottoman politics were determined by a party headed by herself and Garzan Faraga, chief of the white eunuchs and head of the Enderun. Safiya eventually enjoyed an enormous stipend of 3,000 aspers of day during the latter part of her son's reign. When Mehmed III went on the Aga campaign in Hungary in 1596, he gave his mother great power over the empire, leaving her in charge of the treasury. During her interim rule, she persuaded her son to revoke a political appointment of the judgeship of Istanbul and to reassign to the Grand Vizierate, to Damit Ibrahim Pasha, her son-in-law. During this period, the secretary of the English ambassador reported that while in the palace, Safiya espied a number of boats upon the river, the Bosphorus, hurrying together. The Queen Mother sent to inquire of the matter, and was told that the vizier did justice upon certain chabies, carper, that is, whores. She, taking displeasure, sent Verd and advised the vizier that her son had left him to govern the city and not to devour the women, thus commanding him to look well to the other business and not to meddle any more with the women till his master's return. The greatest crisis Safiya endured as Valida Sultan stemmed from her reliance on her kira, Esperanza Malki. Akira was a non-Muslim woman who acted as an intermediary between a secluded woman of the harem and the outside world, serving as a business agent and secretary. In 1600, the imperial cavalry rose in rebellion at the influence of Malki and her son, who had amassed over 50 million aspers in wealth. Safiya was held responsible for this, along with the debased currency the troops were paid with, and nearly suffered the wrath of the soldiers who brutally killed Malki and her son. Mehmed III was forced to say he would counsel his mother and correct his servants to prevent the soldiers from suspecting her influence over the 
Sultan. Safia persuaded Mehmed to have his decrees written out by the Grand Vizier, instead of personally signing them. Safia was instrumental in the execution of her grandson Mahmud in 1602, having intercepted a message sent to his mother by a religious seer, who predicted that Mehmed III would die in six months and be succeeded by his son. According to the English ambassador, Mahmud was distressed at how his father was altogether led by the old sultana his grandmother and the state went to ruin, she respecting nothing but her own desire to get money, and often lamented thereof to his mother, who was not favoured of the queen mother, the sultan, suspecting a plot and jealous of his son's popularity, had him strangled. Mehmed III was succeeded by his son Ahmed I in 1603. One of his first major decisions was to deprive his grandmother of power. She was banished to the Old Palace in January 1604, when Ahmed I's brother Mustafa I became sultan in 1617. His mother Halimi Sultan received 3,000 aspers as Valida Sultan although her mother-in-law Safia was still alive. However, Halimi received only 2,000 aspers during her retirement to the old palace between her son's two reigns. During the first months of her retirement, Safia was still alive, perhaps a neighbor in the old palace, receiving 3,000 aspers a day. All succeeding sultans were descended from Safiya. Foreign Relations Safiya, like Nurbanu, advocated a generally pro-Venetian policy and regularly interceded on behalf of the Venetian ambassadors, one of whom described her to the Senate as a woman of her word, trustworthy, and I call say that in her alone have I found truth in Constantinople, therefore it will always benefit your serenity to promote her gratitude. Safiya also maintained good relations with England. She persuaded Mehmed III to let the English ambassador accompany him on campaign in Hungary. One unique aspect of her career is that she corresponded personally with Queen Elizabeth I of England, volunteering to petition the Sultan on Elizabeth's behalf. The two women also exchanged gifts. On one occasion, Safia received a portrait of Elizabeth in exchange for two garments of cloth of silver, one girdle of cloth of silver, and two handkerchiefs wrought with massy gold. In a letter from 1599, Safia responds to Elizabeth's request for good relations between the empires. I have received your letter, God willing, I will take action in accordance with what you have written. Be of good heart in this respect. I constantly admonish my son, the Padishah, to act according to the treaty. I do not neglect to speak to him in this manner. God willing, may you not suffer grief in this respect. May you two always be firm in friendship. God willing, may our friendship never die. You have sent me a carriage and it has been delivered. I accept it with pleasure, and I have sent you a robe, a sash, two large gold embroidered bath towels, three handkerchiefs, and a ruby and pearl tiara. May you excuse the unworthiness of the gifts. Safia had the carriage covered and used it on excursions to town, which was considered scandalous. This exchange of letters and gifts between Safiya and Elizabeth presented an interesting gender dynamic to their political relationship, in juxtaposition to the traditional means of exchanging women in order to secure diplomatic, economic, or military alliances. Elizabeth and Safiya's exchange put them in the position of power rather than the objects of exchange. An unusual occurrence in Safiya's relationship with England was her attraction to Paul Pinder, secretary to English ambassador and deliverer of Elizabeth's coach. According to Thomas Dallum, the Sultana did take great liking to Mr. Pinder, and afterwards she sent for him to have his private company, but their meeting was crossed. Public works. Safiya is also famous for starting the construction of Yeni Mosque, the new mosque in Emenonu, Istanbul, in 1597. Part of Istanbul's Jewish quarter was raised to make way for the structure, whose massive building costs made Safiya unpopular with the soldiery, who wanted her exiled. At one point Mehmed III temporarily sent her to the old palace, 
Though she returned, she did not live to see the mosque completed. After Mehmed died, Safiya lost power and was permanently exiled to the old palace. The mosque's construction was halted for decades. It was finally completed in 1665 by another Valida Sultan, Turhan Hattas, mother of Mehmed IV. The Al Malika Safiya Mosque in Cairo is named in Safiya's honor. In popular culture, in the 2015 TV series Mutesim Uziel, Kossum, Safiya Sultan is portrayed by Turkish actress Hulya Rabias A.R.